right now at six getting ready. It won't be long before the Virginia Beach Oceanfront will be filled with excitement for a new entertainment event. And tonight there's new information about that something in the water that's coming in just a few short weeks. Good evening. The last weekend in April will be here before you know it. That means for city officials and oceanfront business leaders, there's not much time to prepare for before Pharrell's big event hits the beach. This afternoon at the Virginia Beach Convention Center, a detailed briefing on where everything will be held and the role business owners will play that weekend. And we're told there may still be more in the water. Ten on your side's Brett Hall has the latest for us from the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. Business owners down at the oceanfront, they are used to festivals. There are several different ones throughout the year, but Pharrell's team made clear at a meeting today there's going to be none quite like this. It's all about making the last weekend in April something to get excited about. Um, one of the things that we keep hearing and coming out is that, oh, this is a replacement for, uh, for Beach Week. And to us, we don't really see it that way. We actually see it as harnessing the potential of something like Beach Week that hasn't really been harnessed before. Robbie Wells from Pharrell's company announced the weekend's agenda is packed. On top of the more than 25 national acts, big name brands like Adidas and Sony will keep activities going, specifically after hours when College Beach Weekend's past have turned violent. For something in the water, Trap Karaoke will take place till 2 in the morning at the convention center. An event that sells out everywhere it goes across the country. It you know, as many as 90, 90 dates a, a, a year, they will sell out. Transportation? A spokesperson with HRT confirms the city of Virginia Beach is paying for oceanfront trolleys to shuttle people around for the weekend. And for those coming from outside the area, the plan is to have crowdfunded regional shuttles. You say that I am in Washington, D.C., or I am in Richmond, and you apply for a seat. As soon as they hit a certain number of seats per bus, a bus then gets allocated to that area. Those details still being finalized. A person working with security says, keep in mind, this is the first year for this event. And when it comes to tickets, they're only being sold as a three-day pass, meaning if you really only want to see one of the bands, you're still going to have to pay all three days. Now, the festival organizers say they could relax that policy as ticket sales progress, but there's no guarantees. Reporting from the Convention Center, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. As far as being a part of the festival is concerned, you can jump on that tomorrow at noon. That's when tickets go on sale. The early bird rate for a three-day pass is $150. VIP passes range from $450 to $500. And again, the festival runs April 26th through the 28th. Everything you need to know about something in the water so far is posted on wavy.com.